And the next website that we're going to talk about is a Capital Watch website, which is going to be uh, have a little different orientation and a, and a, and a different, a little focus about how to uh, make you uh, be a little bit more effective and provide you with some tools that uh, will help educate you also. And, and I've got Scott Glenn, who's a communications director for Capital Watch, who's going to talk briefly also about the Capital Watch website. Scott, thank you. Aloha. This is going to be a quick talk about what we're doing. <laughs> so um, Suzanne told you how the ledge process works and walked you through the website. One of the things we're going to try to do through this session is to make it easier for you so you don't even have to go to their website. <laughs> you can just open your email <laughs> and submit your testimony directly. And so by signing up with the Capital Watch, we're going to send you an email called the Capital Watch Insider. And this is, this is the logo that Anthony referred to earlier. And what it, it, what it will be is it's going to be a newsletter that's going to have two main parts to it, one that we're calling the buzzing bills, and the other one are the more uh, specific bills that aren't as time sensitive. So the buzzing bills are going to be those bills that Rob, working at the ledge every day, has identified as crucial bills that really need our support. And you know we're all making these pledges to submit testimony, to show up in person, to call our legislators, and these are the times when we need to do it, and these are the bills that we need to do it for. So that's what we're having here. And you can see it's a short description of the bill, and then we'll have links in there. So for example, this one, it would be to ban plastic bags. If you believe strongly in that, you want to support this, we have two options down here. One is to testify, and if you click on it, it'll open up an email for you already all set up with the subject on there, the email address of the senator or the committee, and then we'll have some text in there. We're not going to tell you what to write because you're, you're adults and you're smart people and you know what you think. So you know, we trust you to write what you, you believe is important, but we will put some crucial information in there like who the committee chairs are or um, you know, what the bill's name is. Some of those things we'll put in there so that you'll have it ready for you to use and then you can just write your opinion in there and email it directly to them. Another option will be to contact your legislator. And right now it just takes you to this website, but once we have the committee websites up, once we know who's going to be doing what, you'll be able to go to their webpage and contact them, either find their information, find out who your legislator is if you're not sure, which this website also has down here at the bottom. You can just put in your address and they'll tell you who your legislator is. So both of these will be quick ways that you can contact somebody without having to go too far out of your way to figure out what's going on, make sense of the bill, look it up. We're basically trying to do that for you. Um, and then we'll also have on here upcoming hearings. So these are the days that if you have time or you can block some, block a, you know, an afternoon or take a lunch off from work, come down to the ledge and show up and say in person what you submitted to them. So you can see the, the hearing, the location. And then down here at the bottom, what we've done is we're gonna break up the bills into categories. And Suzanne mentioned there were 3,000 bills submitted, right? And by crossover, there were still 700. That's just too many bills to keep track of for anyone, much less Rob, who has to testify on all of them, too. So what we're doing <coughs> is we're trying to break this up into categories, and then we're asking you all and in our, ourselves, Capital Watchers, to kind of take a leadership role in one of these different categories. So if you feel strongly about food and ag, we're asking you to volunteer to help monitor the food and ag bills and let the rest of us know how they're doing, what their status is. Are they coming up to some crucial hearing or are they just kind of going along and they're going to die soon, you know? But what we've done, we have these categories, food and ag, energy, waste opala, conservation, land use, and governance. And they're kind of obvious titles, but food and ag will, is a lot of like what happened with, uh, with the Rick's presentation earlier. Um, so, you know, um, native plants, you know, how do we, I'm sorry, uh, food and ag is earlier with Anthony's talk with how to do, how to promote agricultural land, you know, how do we get organic food growing, how do we get small farmers the leases they need to grow, you know, that's what this category will focus on. Energy will focus on mostly clean energy, fossil fuel, reducing fossil fuel use, um, alternative energy, things like that, waste and opala, 
will be you know sewer management or um, reducing water waste um, you know don't use clean water potable water on golf courses things like that conservation will be using more like native plants um, land use will focus on urbanization um, you know maybe the the beach in Waikiki resanding that things like that and then governance is looking at you know how does our system actually work and so in this way governance could be clean elections or other aspects of how we make a better system overall. And what we're doing is we're asking each of you all to kind of focus on these things. Which ones do you really passionately care about and would be willing to take the lead on or help out, write testimony on? Those are things that um, we'd like your help with. And then we also set up a website so that if you miss the, if you miss the email or maybe it's a few emails ago and you wanted to find out a bill that's not in the current email, you can come to the Sierra Club webpage and go to Capital Watch. And here we'll have it. And here's the same categories with the same colors. So we're going to color code these bills. So you can quickly know what a bill number is. So if you see that bill and it's got some orange next to it, oh, that's an energy bill. You don't have to worry about it if you're not doing energy stuff. You know, If you care about land use, you can look down and say, oh, this one's purple. OK, that's a bill that's in my Kuliana. My Kuliana. Then also on the side, we're going to have a blog over here, the Capital Watch. And myself, Robert, um, probably other people as well will be writing guest posts about different bills or different topics so that you can get a little bit more background on what's going on. And we'd also like you all to submit something. If you feel passionate about it and you're an expert on that topic or that bill, please write a you know, two or 300 word, 100 word you know, comment. And we can post it on the blog for everyone else to also see. So we can help each other, share our opinions, and write better testimony. Because really, that's what we need to do. We need an effective testimony that gets the point across. What bill do we support? Why do we support it? Why is it an issue? And this way, we can all put our collective knowledge together, share it with each other, and then send it directly to the legislators. So we look forward to your all's pledges. And we're going to try and make it as easy as possible for you. So thank you. The hope is, you know, this place, this building can be kind of scary for a lot of people. Um, we're trying to break some of that down and make this to be a lot friendlier, a lot more comfortable. The idea is that these legislators tend to be very nice people. And, you know, we want you to have that one-on-one -on -one relationship with them. We want you to feel comfortable about it. Um, and I think I, I'm going to be stealing a little bit from our closing speaker's uh, presentation. You know, if you interact with a legislature that you like, that's helping you on things, that's very supportive, you know, the flip side is you got to support them, too. And the idea is we want to kind of create these connections where you get to know your legislators, you're, you feel empowered to be able to take further action. That's the whole point of this. Um, we very easily could have come up here and said, here's our bills, here's what we're doing, and try and encourage you just to adopt our agenda. That's not the point of this. The point of this is to give you the information, give you the access to the, the tools that you need, so you can go and make your voice heard, and hopefully a voice for the environment, the things that you care about. Um, and, you know, sometimes you may agree with us, Hopefully most of the time you agree with us, but there may be times you don't. That's okay. We want you to feel involved. We want you to be a part of the process. And I think overall we're going to have better policy as a result of it. Um, let me reiterate briefly. Gary Hooser talked about the power of a pen, the power to make uh, social change. The presentation I give, and it's a much longer presentation, talks a lot about the bottle bill. Uh, you know, the five cents everyone pays and gets back when you recycle. Um, I grew up here. When I was growing up here, I had plenty of classes talking about the importance of reducing, reusing, recycling. But, and yet, despite years and decades of this, Hawaii's recycling rate averaged around 20% for decades. And so if you were to draw this graph, you'd say 20%, 20% for years. We passed that bottle law, and one month, one month, our recycling rate jumped up to 70%. It's been around 80% ever since. Can you think of anything that's had that much social change that quickly, um, that efficiently? As a result of that, Hawaii's recycled close to 6 billion, billion with a B, beverage containers in a short period of time. A it's just astounding what a significant change has had. And a lot of these legislative policies we're talking about, those ultimately are the tools to get to where we want to be, where we want to see Hawaii. Um, programs like, uh, and I hate to pick on it because it's a good program, but you know, things like Buy Local. It's a good program. I'm glad it's there. But ultimately, if you really want to see this type of social changes you really want to have where everyone's buying local, you're probably going to be talking about stuff that happens here at the legislature. That's why we're putting on this. That's why we have you here. That's why I'm so thankful you're here. 
and I appreciate you guys being here. So if I can ask a quick round of applause for you guys being here, thank you. <laughs> let me um, do two quick things before uh, I let you guys go. First, again, you guys were given a cheat sheet. Um, we're hoping this is something you just put up on your desk and keep around. It's got some handy websites. It's got some uh, uh, ways to write letters to the uh, Star Advertiser, to the Honolulu Weekly, and you know you can obviously put more down here. Um, if you don't know who your representative is, your senator, we showed you on the website how you can look that up by inputting your address. It's the uh, state capital website, the first website there. And so I hope this is something you can keep. It's also great tips for talking to your legislator on the back side. Pledge cards. If you haven't already, um, please fill out your pledge card. During lunch, we'll do the raffle drawing for the OHIA prize, but it's just a good example for us to create a communication tool. And when um, Scott was talking about that email, the idea is that these different categories are going to be run by volunteers. They're not going to be run by me. And so if you're somebody who's really interested in energy issues, I'm going to ask for your assistance in drafting the energy portion of that email, saying here's the bills that are coming up, here's what's going on. And you know, it's going to be as good as the volunteers who, who run it. So if you're interested in being in charge and, or having the kuleana of something, please put it on your pledge card. If you, if you already turned one in, go ahead and pick up another one and write it again, because we'll try and get in touch with you and say, hey, what can we do? How can we do this? This process is new. I mean, we haven't done this type of symposium before. We haven't gotten people involved in the legislative process before. There's going to be some um, fits, uh, you know, cold starts. There's going to be some really successful things. I hope you'll, you'll bear with us. It's an organic process. We're going to figure out the best way to try and connect you to legislators and how we can try and make sure it's, it's a well-run program. Um, if you have suggestions, we're very open to them. It's, it's, it's something we're trying out new. I think it's going to be very successful from the amount of excitement that was uh, involved about this. Uh, like we said, we turned around 20 or 30 people from coming today. Um, next year, we'd like to see three, 400 people if we do this symposium again. You heard conversations about green t-shirts. Well, to fit into our theme of zero waste, we actually chose to go with water bottles instead. But next year, we'll definitely try and do uh, t-shirts, maybe even a Sig Zane design t-shirt. I don't know. Um, but the idea is that you know this is something that um, you know we'd like to see build up. And I hope you can go talk to your friends about what a good, important session this was and how useful it was for you. <laughs>